well goes my YouTube channel. Now basically each episode I'm going to cover a physics topic and hopefully try and explain it in a simple and understandable way. Some episodes are just going to be fun physics facts, but most I'm going to try and tie in to the current school curriculum. So when that's the case, I'm going to put the key stage in the episode title. This episode, I'm going to talk about how the sun produces its energy and the reactions that make it burn. Nuclear fusion occurs in the sun in the form of hydrogen atoms fusing into a helium atom. Just some background, a hydrogen 1 atom has one proton in its nucleus and a helium atom is made up of two protons and two neutrons. So to start with, we need some hydrogen nuclei. Now under normal circumstances, these nuclei would repel each other. We've all heard the saying, opposites attract, and it's true. But on the other hand, particles with the same charge repel each other. These hydrogen nuclei are positive because they all contain one proton. Therefore, trying to get them to fuse together with other hydrogens is almost impossible. Unless you have the exact right conditions. In order to fuse, the particles must be going at such high speeds that they collide before they even have the chance to repel each other. The way that the particles can get up to these insane speeds is by being in a really hot gas or a plasma. Just like the sun. Whoa. Plasma provides huge amounts of energy which provides heat and therefore speed to the particles. In order for fusion to take place, the temperature of this gas or plasma needs to be like 10 million degrees C. But even the centre of our sun is 15 million degrees C. Anyway, back to the fusion reaction. So these hydrogen nuclei are super hot and are therefore travelling incredibly fast and as a result can collide with each other. When certain isotopes of hydrogen collide with each other, they can fuse together to form helium. Now, I say isotopes. Let's just dip our little toes into some chemistry. All hydrogen atoms have one proton, but different types of hydrogen have a different number of neutrons. Let me break it down for you. Hydrogen 1 has one proton that makes up its nucleus. Hydrogen 2, or deuterium, has one proton and one neutron, so it's made up of two particles. And hydrogen 3, or tritium, has one proton and two neutrons, so three particles that make up its nucleus. That wasn't so bad, was it? The simplest fusion reaction which occurs in the sun involves four hydrogen 1 atoms fusing to form a helium atom. And a helium atom is made up of two protons and two neutrons. Another method of fusion involves a deuterium and a tritium fusing to form a helium. Both methods create a helium atom from hydrogen. However, in both cases, the helium atom produced is actually slightly lighter than the hydrogen atoms that fused to form it. Some matter has been lost along the way. But luckily, due to the equation energy equals mass times the speed of light squared, or E equals mc squared, thank you Einstein, we now know that this loss of mass results in a burst of energy. This energy is the source of the light and the warmth produced by the sun that keeps us and our planet alive. Fusion is the energy source for our entire universe and it occurs in the core of our sun and all of the stars. Currently, scientists are trying to create a nuclear fusion reactor so that we can harness this energy source on Earth. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to learn about other cool physics facts, then please like and subscribe and watch all of my other videos. And if you want to learn about a specific topic, please leave a comment below and I will try to do a video for you.